Okay, what's up, YouTube? I'm coming to you guys today with a video on how I achieved this butterfly braid, mermaid braid, whichever you want to call it, fairy braid, all that stuff. So, yes, ma'am. Continue watching this video if you guys want to see what I done did. Then I gotta go. I got a star chump shirt. Testing, testing. Just want to see how I look. How I look. I'm doing a butterfly braid today. So I just started um, blow dry. I just blow dry my hair out. So now you're going to see me part my hair. Um, I'm going to wear my butterfly braid too. So I'm going to part my hair across the back, you know, through here. And then I'm going to apply flat irons around my perimeter. I'm not going to flat iron my whole head. I'm just going to flat iron, like, you know, my edges. I don't want to use a hot comb, but I'm going to know I'm eventually have to do it. But I'm just going to flat iron and all that. I'm going to put this side up, and I'm actually going to go through the blow dryer one more time or whatnot. So I'm going to go through the blow dryer one more time. Cause I need this part to be flat as possible, but I, I it's hard to explain how I did it. But I basically parted and came in the middle to the middle of the back and back of my head. Maybe when I get a video, I'll be able to show you guys. But right here, you just my dumbass. A piece that's gonna be like showing and stuff. And I only got it on 392, nothing too extravagant, you know. So you just go see me run the flat irons over it. Oh, yeah, that feel good. Oh, I hate having to flat iron my own edges, but it got to be done for the sake of beauty. I'm, I don't know, like, I be trying to do um, the ones, like, what I talk through to y'all and stuff like that. So let me know how y'all like that. Okay, so this is the part that the braid is going to be attached to. Y'all going to see where I'm going with this after, you know, a few whatever. So, like, this is going to be, like, the beginning of my braid. Okay, so what we're going to do is just, you know, part this. Oh, I'm just going to take this, like, start braiding this, my real hair. Like, no weave, no nothing. I'm just going to start braiding my real hair. Okay, so now you see what we did we got the braid to the back on this side with our real hair don't worry about how neat that braid is because it's going to be covered up now we're going to do the same thing to this side and now y'all just we going to do the regular braid right here now i just oh like a cricket but um i just feel like butterfly braids aren't meant to like i don't well i are meant to look messy so i don't feel like it's a need for it to be like real sleek in the middle but it's really you know flat and stuff like that so and then i just pulled my um braids into a little bun in the back so now this is like where the braid hair and all that stuff comes in and tell me do you guys dislike the light the lightning in my videos because i'm trying to use the natural sunlight thing and I don't like how my blinds are transferring on my own in my video. Queen Bee, yeah, Queen Bee braiding hair. I got the 40 inch. It is longer inches. I would recommend. I use only had got the 40 inch originally because I wanted to do an updo with this. And I got mine in color 1B, so like a brown black color, um, like off black. So it's already pre-stretched. You know, I ain't no braider, so I ain't got time to be stretching hair, and it makes a big real big mess so first off we're going to start by with a little piece of hair at the beginning now you don't have to use a little piece of hair at the beginning but i'm going to use a little piece of hair at the beginning so um uh, i'm not a braider so y'all have to um you know figure out 
how to braid. Like, I, it's not a cornrow tutorial, is basically what I'm saying. So, I'm about to get this going. I added one little piece in. Now I'm gonna add another little bit of piece in. Just so it don't be a huge, you know, transition or whatever. And then I'm about to add one more piece. It's gonna be kind of large. You know, you know, like this. Okay, you see the hair is added in, and now I'm just gonna keep adding it in and keep adding it in. And we just adding that in. Trying to get the braid still, the actual braid itself neat before we distress it. I wish I had some curly hair I could add into this, but I might um just come curl it myself with some heat. I don't know, I might come back and just pin some hair in it or something like that. But this is what we're doing. We just adding on to this little braid right here that's on my scalp. Just gonna keep on adding on. Okay, so I got about this much left on the end. I'm just gonna take a rubber band and um tie it off, end it off. It was important that we left some space at the end, you know, cause it's gonna give us room to fan it out. But yes, that is it. And when I get done, I'm gonna sew this on. So I think I'm gonna bobby pin it on my top of my braid, but you see I use that to cover up my braid, the braid that's here. So you can sew it down, but I'm gonna bobby pin it cause I don't feel like sewing down. I don't feel like cutting nothing out my head. Cause I know this isn't gonna be nothing but like a four day hairstyle for me, so. You know, we go pin it on there. Like I told y'all, if I was doing this for a client, I would sew it down. But it's, I'm only doing it for myself. So I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to bobby pin it on top of the braid. way to do it is start from the bottom. I don't know why I keep trying to start from the top. Start from the bottom and we're gonna pull out the edges, you know. It ain't no rush, it ain't no grace. Just pull out the edges. Okay, we're just gonna pin this down with body pins real quick. Okay, it's not ugly. We're just gonna sew the two braids together and the ends, I'm gonna tuck it into the other braid. My camera died in the midst, so I'm gonna come right back with you guys. Like, the little pieces of hairs we had flying out, I'm putting flexi rods at the end of them before we dip them and stuff, so they been like, you know, just like the ends, all that good stuff. I'm gonna put curls at the ends. Uh, next time, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely gonna do me one again, but I want my butterfly braid like super, super fat. Like,
downstairs to the kitchen and dip my ends in some curls. Okay, I'm just gonna take these out now. Or whatnot. So this is the ponytail, the ponytail, the braid. Um, I do wanted it like thicker, like fat all the way to the end. So I do recommend you guys want the fat one. You need to get the 80 inch. You know, I had the 40 inch hair. I said that earlier in the video. But um, this is the braid. You know, I thought my edges and took all the rods out and stuff. And for like, cause you know, also I told y'all I had to improvise because I had my curly hair. You know, like the pull through and it's like pulled through my braid. So I just pulled through the curls through my hair. That's completely optional you don't have to do that um i didn't think it was necessary to show on camera because it was literally like the same thing i did you know down here after i separated the curls all i did was just like poke poke so it wasn't nothing like you know extravagant to it but this is the braid <laughs>